Hi, my name is Kurt and I've been with uh, Project Turntables for more than 20 years. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about how turntables work and how vinyl records are actually made. If you look at this uh, vinyl record here, in the manufacturing process of vinyl records, grooves are cut into a lacquer disc with a record cutting machine. And these grooves contain undulations, which are tiny little waves that are essentially an exact copy of the sound waves generated by the music source. That music source can be, for example, a high resolution digital file or an analog master tape. Whatever the source may be, the resolution and therefore the sound quality is most likely much better than CD and certainly much better than an mp3 file. This is one of the reasons why vinyl records sound much better than CDs, especially when they are played back on a correctly set up good quality turntable. The lacquer disc later on goes to further steps in the production to produce what we call a plate disc or a stamper and that stamper is used to press these vinyl records that you have at home. Now let's have a look at this vinyl record. What happens when you play it back on your turntable at home? As I mentioned before, the grooves cut into this vinyl record are an exact copy of the grooves on the original lacquer disc. Your turntable is equipped with a cartridge that is mounted at the front of the toner. This cartridge has a stylus, a tiny little needle, which is nowadays mostly made of diamond. Once you put your vinyl record on your turntable splatter and you start the motor to make the platter spin, you can now gently lower the tone arm onto the record by using this little lever here on the side. The diamond stylus will now start to read the little waves that are contained inside these record grooves. This makes the stylus move which produces a very small current inside that cartridge. This current now goes through the wires in the tone arm and makes its way through the connection cable into your amplifier and from there on to your speakers. A very important thing to note here is that you have to use a so-called phono input on your amplifier to connect the turntable to. You can't just use a standard input like a line input or an auxiliary input, the type of input that you would use to connect a CD player or media streamer. The reason for that is, as I mentioned before, your cartridge puts out a very, very small current. If you connect that to a standard line input, that input is not sensitive enough and the result would be a very low signal coming out of your amplifier. You would basically have to turn the volume all the way up to hear something coming out of your loudspeakers. To make this current stronger, a phono input contains a so-called phono preamplifier or phono stage. This device preamplifies the small signal coming out of your cartridge and brings it up to a higher level, comparable to the level of a normal line source like a CD player or a media streamer. It applies an equalization to the signal coming from your turntable so that it correctly plays back according to the standard set by the RIAA back in the 1950s. The RIAA is the Recording Industry Association of America. So always make sure that your amplifier has a phono input and that your turntable is connected to that phono input. If your amplifier doesn't have a built-in phono input, you can buy a phono stage or phono preamplifier separately. This is like the one I have here. Project makes several different models of these phono stages at different price points and at different quality levels. Your project retailer can advise you on which phono stage would be a good match for your turntable. Vinyl records sound better than CDs. They really do. 
And for me, that's all that matters. If it sounds better to my ears, then it is better. It's as simple as that. Much has been written about the technical differences between CD and vinyl records. What we hear in those differences between CD and vinyl cannot be explained with technical specifications alone. Vinyl records sound more natural, more musical, give a better reproduction of the complex harmonical structure of musical instruments and the environment in which they were recorded. Ask your project retailer for a comparison between a CD player and a vinyl record. All you need is a properly set up $500 project turntable compared next to a CD player that can even cost many times more. It doesn't really matter as long as it's a good turntable that is correctly set up. And I'm sure you're going to be amazed at what you hear.